First News with Keeler in the morning on WIBX and WIBX950.com. All right, Andrew, tell me about the uh, the Hellcats, will you? What do we know here? Uh, or Manansky, who wants to talk about it? Oh, they're going to be yeah. raising hell this weekend. They are, I've heard raise that. Raise a little hell, raise yeah. a little yeah. hell, raise uh, On the line, Nicole Hilly. Is, did I say that correctly, Nicole? Yes, you did. And Ken Marion is the co-owner yes, and assistant coach of the Hellcats. Are you guys both local or are you both from here? I'm from Utica, yeah. All right. Where are you and from? And I'm from Syracuse. Okay. All right, so tell me, is what is, is this like a semi-pro football team that just so happens to have all lady players? Go ahead, Nick. Uh, it's actually on a professional level. Now it's actually on a national level now. Wow. I wouldn't play with you. I, I would, I, I'd get hurt. I would totally get hurt. So uh, this is full-out tackle football? Yes, it is. It's through the WFA. The Women's Football Alliance. Nice. So uh, let me ask you this. Uh, with all due respect, it, there aren't a lot of high school women's leagues, right? So I, I would assume all of the experience that all the players have has come <clears throat> after the age of 18, basically, right? Is there a special training you went through, or is it just kind of get out she there and play football and uh, maybe uh, in yeah, school? I, I've seen a lot of local high schools will mm-hmm. have female players. What's your story, Nicole? A, Tell a us lot your... of local high schools yeah, have female players? hundreds of them. Hundreds and hundreds. When I was in high school, again, I'm not being disrespectful by any means. I I think uh, ladies should be allowed to play. When I was in high school, there was one team. It was Mount Markham. Had their kicker was a was was a woman. Well, when I was at Notre Dame, could we let her talk? Can can (laughs) we? Hello. Listen, call back in ten minutes. Andrew and I are arguing right now. (laughs) God Almighty, Nicole, you do the. You're the one that knows what's going on here. What's happening? So basically, a few of us um, played when we were younger. And the rest of us just were taught on the way. Yeah, uh, we have yeah. some amazing coaches from day one for the past probably seven months. We have Romel Ponder. We have Jordan, uh, Mike Zigarelli, and Ken himself have been assisting us and just teaching us all the plays. And when I tell you these girls have been putting in work, they have been busting their behind to get yeah. to this level. Nice. And, they nice. and I, I want to I add in, I mean, we started from basic X's and O's, and, and these girls mm-hmm. have gone through – a lot to get where we are. Like you said, there's not a lot of high school uh, women's football and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. Well, mm-hmm. not as of now. It's starting to get more and more. Sure. But that's because of a league like this that's, you know, putting women at the forefront saying, you know, we can do this game too. And they have really I, – we require studying at home, uh, private workouts. We get to the practices for the team. We have individual workouts, and, and we have crammed the entire game of football into these women's heads and they have just absorbed it and, and soaked it in and they've really made it part of their lifestyle. Absolutely. And, and basically that's what you got to do in order to be successful in this yeah. game. Cause you know, you, you see what you see on, on uh, Saturday, Sundays and Mondays with the men. That's not going to be any different than what you see with the product that we put out on the field and, and what this league puts out. It's the mm-hmm. same identical thing. Now, These set, girls are beasts. Yeah. They're These, ready to hit. They, they, they're what again? What did you say they are? They're beasts. They're beasts. And ready to beasts. hit. Okay. Is what she said. All right. Yeah, okay. they're ready. I'll tell you, <laughs> you, you would be amazed at the amount of aggression women have that they need to get out. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Trust That's me. That's an understatement. For yeah. sure. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're playing. Where do you play? And I, I think your next game is on Saturday, right? Yes, Correct. we play at the uh, new field in uh, Proctor Park. Okay, all right. Oh, okay. oh that's okay. really nice. That yep. stadium. Uh, what yeah. other questions do you guys have? Uh, so uh, you said this was yeah. a. You said this is a national league. What other uh, What other teams are in the uh, conference division in the league? You know, what areas of the country are, are you going to be competing against? We're pretty much going to be in up. You know, in the the northeast area. Like I said, this what this league is. Uh, national you got teams from california to new york wow uh the the issue that we're having now is we're you know we're coming back off the covid so we have you know certain areas are not maybe Mm -hmm. as far advanced as we are so we started out with a full six game schedule that has dwindled down to a, a couple games just because uh like maine they weren't able to uh compete this year because of their field uh, we had a game up in uh, Canada, 
uh, the board, with the border issues that, you know, we're, we're not able to play that game yet. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, you know, like Connecticut shut down. There, there's teams that are, you know, we, we go in thinking that, okay, this is our schedule, but then after we rework everything, and believe me, the, the, the past probably two months has been every day we're re- reworking something because yeah. something has happened to another team. So, uh, can I ask you, uh, Nicole, what do you, uh, what position do you play? Well, I'm the lineman and the punter and kicker. Okay. Uh, and I'm actually, I mean, forgive me. I hope it, it isn't uh, creepy that I'm looking for your pictures on online here, but I am. <laughs> yeah. So, I, <laughs> <laughs> it's not creepy if you tell them. <laughs> I'm wondering. You- see, see, that, 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 that's that, that's the whole thing that I want to bring up. We we were we were kind of hesitant going in. You know, yeah. we're the coaches that we have. You know, we've been together for about almost five years now. Uh, we we've been part of Utica amateur football for a while now. And you know, when we first decided to take on this, you know, professional team, we're like, all right. We got to really think about how we do each, how we do and say yeah. every little thing that we're doing here because this is a completely different world for us. Mm-hmm. And and and, and let the, these women, I I can't give these women enough credit for for what they've done and how they've worked with us. And and, and they kind of knew it too. And they were like, listen, teach us the game. Stop beating around the bush and, yeah. and you yeah. know worried about. You know, just mm-hmm. because we're female, no, we want to play this game, and, and that made it so much easier for us to get into the 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 nitty gritty of of the sport and, and teach them as much as we possibly can. Uh, well, I got to tell you, uh, I like it. It's uh, so. What's the uh, is the quarterback like? Um, you know, in most cases, the the quarterbacks uh, in the NFL, for instance are pretty boys, right? I mean, you have uh, Josh Allen. I mean, nobody ever hits the quarterback. Uh, although, <laughs> you know, it is Let me tell you, they're, but... they're coming after our quarterback. But our quarterback, uh, again, an amazing, amazing human being. She has, she works overnight shifts, 12 shifts, or 12-hour shifts, uh, sometimes six days a week, makes the hour drive down to practice three days wow. a week. Wow, wow. And, and, and really has, has, put herself completely into that role and has absorbed it and taken on the leadership part of it. And, and she, she's going to be one of those ones that you're just going to be like, wow, I cannot believe I'm seeing this. Yeah. Wow. So what time's the game Saturday? 12 o'clock. 12, 12 noon. noon. All right. yep. I think, that, I think that's, uh, there's a, it's almost, don't you feel compelled to cover this? Yeah. How do you get tickets and how much are tickets? What do you, yeah, you got to be distanced, right? I mean, are fans allowed? Fans are allowed, I hope. Yeah. Fans are allowed. We're just, you know, going, going with the the protocol that the state has, you know, dropped out. Yeah. The yeah. face mask, the six feet, uh, social distancing and stuff like that. Uh, we have, uh, our men's team coming in to help and, you know, just to make sure that we keep everything as, as in line as possible. Now, what's the men's team? The men is the uh, Utica Nighthawks. Okay, and forgive me, I'm not looking to promote another outlet or something. Nope. But, nope. but but is this is this the the latest <laughs> like evolution of what was the Utica Yard Dogs, or is this a completely different it, league? No, it is. We we've uh, since I've been with it, it, which is almost four years now, we've kind of like broken everything down and rebuilt the whole entire thing. Okay. So, you know, we, we, we understood that the, it, Utica didn't have the greatest name when it came to amateur sports. So we went in and tore everything down and rebuilt everything back up. So uh, now it's and, the Nighthawks and the Hellcats. Well, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I, I, would, um, I would say we should, if, it wasn't, if, if, if we weren't in the middle of COVID, I'd have you bring some players over and we'd do three on three and, and we'd take them on, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but on, but on, show. Well, we'd be there. <laughs> unfortunately, I don't see COVID going I'd away. I pray for you at that point. Uh, We're I, all vaccinated, Bill. Come on. I just don't see it going away. I feel the next yeah. decade or two. <laughs> well, we'll tell you what. When it ever does go away, we'll, we'll leave a, a standing invitation. All right. All right. Fair enough. All right, so, and who are you playing? Yeah. Uh, we'll be playing the New York Knockout. Okay. okay. And where are they and from? They're from, uh, they're from the Albany area. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, good stuff. The Utica Hellcats, a women's 
Football League, Professional Football League. This is full, all contact, uh, tackle football. And, yeah, this is uh, not that lingerie league that people are seeing. This yeah, is yeah, yeah. Full, yeah. All out well, that's too football. bad. But uh, how much? Are t- <laughs> I'm just kidding. How, how much are tickets? Uh, tickets will be ten dollars. Ten right. bucks a ticket. All right, I'm going to put this uh, online school-age, today. Hope you guys get a ton of people. We'll be getting it free. Okay, school cool. age children free. All right, all right. very nice. Okay, uh, good luck, good Nicole, luck, and uh, you know, uh, uh, knock them. Uh, win. Knock uh, out yeah. those knockouts. I was going to say break a leg, but you can't say that in football. No, you don't want no, to say no. that. No. Uh, Nicole and Ken, thank you. We appreciate it as well. Good luck out there. Thank you so much. Thank you very Good much. luck, Nicole. Okay. Right. Thanks so much. Okay. Uh, Nicole is from Utica, and I believe most of the players are as well. But, um, yeah, I've seen some pictures online, and uh, one of the ladies looks like Alex Carbo. Oh, no, that is Alex Carbone. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm What's sorry. he doing, some instruction down there? They were at the fitness mill. Apparently, they were working out over there. So Very cool. One of the photos that I was able to pick up, and and they look uh, they, they look tough. There's no doubt about it. Well, that is it's something uh, a bit different, but it's kind of cool. I'm, I think I'm actually going to go down and watch this game. And it doesn't look like it is. This looks like it's real, like it's, it's real fo- it's football. It's not, like he said, the lingerie thing where you bring out, you know, ladies, oh, my God, I broke a nail. Um, you know, there's none of that. This is all out, you know, and, and you know, they're, they're attractive women. They're normal-looking women, but they look tough. They look tough. I wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, the reason why, Andrew, we would not want to play them. No, no, I know. We would, we would be in a, I had to, I had to show a little bit of, Yeah, you, you did. Know, sure. Like, eager. like you're not yeah. afraid. Or yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Well, you sounded... Very believable. Just for the record, I would be I would be all for a nice little three on three game, but I'm picking two other guys, not you two. <laughs> I got a couple of buddies. I think give us a, a better fighting chance well, at think, winning this game. I think that's probably a good choice. 